I have three autumn ferns planted in a group. One of my ferns had fronds turning brown at the tips and moving down to the ground, killing the entire frond. What is this? Will it kill the fern and spread to the <laughs> others? This is Miss Jean in Brighton. So, Doc, what is this? Is it going to kill Well, it? I'd really like to talk to this lady because... Okay. <laughs> Because it's it could be how old are the plants? Mm. You know, when were they put in? That. Yeah, okay. Okay. if they're young plants and she just put them in, she all she'd have to do is miss a couple of good waterings, and then the plant would start dying back frond by frond, or yeah. you know the tips curling back, yeah. and then the weather we've had, See, I thought about you know, the weather, the weather the, with the like weather. we talked about with the wind and the heat index, and you know you've got to really be and and ferns even autumn ferns require pretty consistent moisture mm -hmm. to stay really lush. And, and look their best. So it may be she needs to look, pay a little bit more attention to the watering. Okay. I don't think it sounds like a disease. I didn't think you it know, did. But if it continues to happen after she's watering, you know, it could be there is something going on with them. But I don't uh, know of anything specifically that attacks you know, There burns. are some uh, well, nematodes will attack well, and scales. Ah, yeah, yeah they I didn't do think of that. scales from time to time. Yeah. But you can take care of that pretty easily. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't think that initially. I thought environmental conditions. Yeah, you know, yeah. Was the first thing that this came time of year, yeah. you know, the the time of year that it is and the heat we've had, people are going to be seeing a lot of problems right. with their plants if they just got to remember to just be vigilant. Okay, and consistent watering. Yeah.